on guys, Joe here from Ankle Athletics. I just want to make this quick video talking about MyFitnessPal, which is the tracking app that I use to track calories as well as macronutrients for myself as well as my clients and what I recommend most people using if they're interested in using some sort of a tracking app, which is typically what I recommend using for someone trying to lose weight, build muscle, or just keep track of their diet in general daily. So the first thing I want to talk about is just a few things. When you first get to the app, you're going to see a few things and a few questions they're going to be asking you. So the questions are going to involve your height, your weight, your goals. So fill these out accurately, but don't pay too much attention to them. So if you're working with me, this will kind of make more sense because I'll have goals laid out for you. But if you're someone who is doing this on your own, I definitely suggest you going by these and then adjusting accordingly based on progress. So what I would recommend if you aren't familiar with the app is starting out with those things and then as you get into things, I'm going to put up on the screen simultaneously um, what actually the app looks like and then I'm also going to show you a little screenshot and a little uh, screen cap of me filling out the app how I would for a typical meal which is going to be my breakfast from the other day. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that, show you guys my favorite screens on the app and what I would typically do um, if I was someone who was... Um, not only changing my goals, um, also someone who's just looking through the app daily. So um, starting out, before I keep talking too much here, um, I'm going to show you up on the screen here in a second what it looks like on my phone right now. So as you get into the app, you basically are going to see this screen. And at the top, it's going to show you the calorie total that you have set up um, basically once you started the app. Um, and if you need to go into settings and change this, I'll make a separate video on that. Um, but once you get to this screen, you're going to click the top, which is where it says calories remaining. And then for breakfast, I'm going to see that it shows me actually I can swipe right and have the same meal that I had the other day, um, which is really convenient. But I'm actually going to punch in each individual food, um, basically what I did the other day, just to show you a little bit more in depth. So this is the screen you're going to start out at. As you can see, I have food zero for the day because I haven't eaten anything. And my goal for the day is 3,200 calories. Your goal is going to be different. And based on your body type and your goals, you're going to have a different calorie goal. So dependent upon what that is, um, you're obviously going to be shooting for that for the day. Anyways, I'm getting off track here. But what I want you to notice is that food total is going to definitely increase as you eat food during the day and input it into the app. Um, so what I'm going to show you first here is adding food. So the other day I had three eggs. So I'm typing in three eggs here so the number of servings one large three of them click that then I'm gonna add in I had five pieces of bacon so I literally typed in the same exact natural choice uncured bacon by Hormel which is exactly the brand I had five slices enter that in I had toast as well Sara Lee two pieces and then I added butter to that. And I'm guessing I had two tablespoons. Which is a lot, but I'd rather shoot a little bit higher and estimate higher. And then I also had a one container of blueberries. So, as you can see, this is my breakfast for the day. So now that I had that, I had about 990 calories. That's quite a bit, quite a bit amount of food for most people, but I like to have a big filling breakfast to start out. Um, it really might depend on what you feel like um, but my point is once you get to this screen you're gonna see that you have 2200 calories remaining or whatever you have on your screen and then you can click on the calories remaining once again at the top and then it's gonna take you to this screen where you're basically gonna show you three different tabs so you have a nutrients tab in the middle which is my favorite then you have your calories on the side and macros all the way on the other side so I really like to look at the nutrient side of things because it shows you what your remaining amount of protein is for the day. And for my clients, I give them usually either all the macronutrient profile goals to shoot for to hit in grams per day, or to make things a little easier, I give them a calorie goal along with a protein goal. So in order to check your t protein goal, you're able to look at this screen right here and it shows you that you have 41 grams for me for the day from that first meal and it allow you to kind of get a little bit better idea of what you need for the rest of the day. So as I go back here, I can see where my calorie goal is for the day, how much I've already eaten, how much I have remaining, and then to get to my protein, my favorite screen is the nutrients tab. One other thing I want to talk about is the bottom screen here where it talks about, you can click and then it gives you your weight. 
as an option, it's purple. You can actually type in your weight here and add your weight and also put in a progress photo. I usually do that once per week or even once every two weeks. And also I will add in my weight here every day so that I can actually track my weight long term and see the progress a little bit more. One other thing that the app allows you to do for free. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, one other tip I have on MyFitnessPal is don't wait till the end of the day to fill out your MyFitnessPal for the day because it's a little bit tougher to remember. Fill it out either as you go throughout the day or fill it out all at the beginning of the day if you're kind of a creature of habit and you get used to eating the same things and then adjust accordingly if needed. It makes it a little bit easier and then you ensure that you're on track for the day and you're not guessing at the end of the day. So if this video helps you, make sure you drop a like below. Um, share it if you feel like it'll help um, and also if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and click the bell for the notifications for all of my videos please do so um, but anyways thank you guys for watching um, talk to you soon if you have any questions leave them below have a good night guys